Hey, Ben with Wad Prep here, and today we're gonna talk about a simple rope climb tutorial. So, if you ever had issues climbing a rope, this video is going to help. So we're gonna clear up a few misconceptions when it comes to rope climbs. Misconception number one is that rope climbs are all about your arms, when in fact, they're mostly your legs. So if you watch this video, this is an example of someone who's trying to climb the rope with nothing but their arms. Okay, I'm basically reaching and I'm just kind of climbing hand over hand, just pulling myself up the rope and my legs are kind of dangling, not really doing much. I might wrap them, but it's really not, not doing much. This is a major issue because your legs are a lot stronger than your arms. A correct rope climb, like you see in this video, is one in which I clamp my legs, I clamp my feet onto the rope, and then I go up the rope simply by standing up. So I clamp and stand, clamp and stand. All right, another misconception with rope climbs is that you pinch the rope in between your feet. In fact, it's not a pinch, but a clamp. So here's a rope, a lot of people try to climb and they will, I'll see them pinch, or even if they do a wrap, like let's say they're wrapping, they'll, they'll have their feet separate, okay? Hopefully you can see this on video, but they'll have their feet you know, on the rope and they'll be, they'll be a few inches apart. That just doesn't work. If your feet are apart, that means they're not gonna be able to clamp on the, on the rope and keep a nice, strong grip. So instead of pinching the rope, make sure you clamp the rope. So a good way to clamp is simply by taking your top foot and stepping on the bottom foot, okay? What's good about a lot of uh, CrossFit shoes these days is that the, the arch, the arch section of the shoe has some grip to it. So all I do is I literally take my foot, I clamp it down on the bottom foot, and then it, it lets that rope rest right in the arch of the shoe, which provides really good gripping power. Another thing is that if you wear Olympic lifting shoes, a lot of times, because their edges are so sharp and they're made of rubber, you'll have a really strong grip on the rope. Okay, and misconception or problem number three are mini pulls, okay? So when people climb the rope, you want to get to the top as quickly as possible and also as efficient as possible. So if I climb the rope like this, where I'm taking a bunch of small choppy climbs, you know, I'm taking very small steps, it's going to take me a lot longer to get to the top of the rope. And because of that, I'm going to be a lot more fatigued. So in order to fix that, in order to climb it more efficiently, what you want to do is take the biggest possible steps or the biggest possible pulls up the rope as you possibly can. The way you do that is by reaching far, pulling your knees all the way to your chest. You'll see here, I'm taking my feet, I'm lifting them as high as I possibly can, clamping and then simply standing back up and it's taking me up the rope a lot faster. So I really hope that you like this video. If you want more simple tips like this that are gonna help take your performance to the next level, all you have to do is click on any of the buttons that are showing up on the screen here, or if you're on Facebook or a mobile device, just look in the comments, click on that link, and it's gonna take you to a page where all you have to do is enter some information, and I'm gonna send you a free book that I wrote that's gonna help take your training to the next level. Also, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you did didn't, make sure you leave a comment and tag someone that you know who needs help with their rope climbs. And thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, click this button right here to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I hope you have a great day and crush your rope climbs.